welcome! My name is Joseph Anderson, and this is RM University. It's 90-day jumpstart program. Today is day 49, and today I want to talk to you about testimony. I don't know about you guys, but I know when I was on my mission, Satan attacked my testimony brutally. And I'd had so many experiences, which had number one show me, first of all, that Heavenly Father is real, that Jesus is the Christ, and that this absolutely is His church. And I also had experiences that had shown me that there absolutely is a devil and he will do anything in his power to destroy you. You know, when I think about the way that the adversary tries to go after of us, after us, I think of the movie, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And in there, the white witch, I think, is a perfect representation of Satan. And if you remember from the first part of the movie, she entices the young man with, you know, with his favorite goodies. And then right after that, she's ready to kill him. She's ready, she's ready to, to destroy him. And I feel that the same way goes with Satan. He will do everything in his power to destroy you. He has absolutely nothing to live for except destroying your life. On, on my mission, even though I had experiences that had testified to me of the truthfulness that Jesus Christ is the Savior, that the Book of Mormon is true, I never had one of those experiences that, you know, some people talk about that giant burning in their bosom that says, the Book of Mormon is true. But that didn't matter. I knew it. You know, I'd had experiences as I, as I participated in the Hilcomora pageant through my later years, experiences that there is no way I can deny. And you have too. You have had those spiritual experiences. And Satan will still try to attack you. Because if he can get you to doubt your identity, if he can get you to doubt who you really are, which is a child of God, then he can get you to doubt anything. And you are, we are no different. Then, I mean, the, the Savior is an excellent example. You know, in St. Luke, in Luke uh, 4, he talks about the temptations of the devil, after, or the temptations of the devil towards the Savior. And after the Savior had fasted for 40 days, the devil said, if you be the Son of Man, then cast your, then ask, ask the angels from heaven to come save you. He said, if. He was trying to get him to doubt who he was. What does he try to do every single day with you? Oh, you're a nobody. I mean, and he's always done this. You know, if we look in Revelations, in the war of heaven. So this is Revelations 12, starting in verse 10. And he says, the power of, let's see, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives even unto death. So even before we came to this earth, this spiritual battle had started. And it has not stopped. It has ramped up. Especially in these last days, this is Satan's last shot to take you as a prize. That's all he wants. If you want to read an amazing book about how Satan tries to destroy us, read C.S. Lewis, The Screw Tape Letters. Incredible, amazing book that teaches you how Satan tries to destroy you. You know, so I think it's important that we understand that. But how can you strengthen your testimony on a daily basis? I mean, this really breaks down to all those primary answers. Are you studying the scriptures every day? Are you writing in your journal, remembering the experiences and the tender mercies of the Lord throughout the day? Are you attending your church meetings? And are you attending them with full intent? I mean, every single, every single thing we do, we can do it at good, better, or best level. Now, if you're off track, that's okay. Get back on track. We're here for you, we love you, we support you, we'll welcome you with open arms. And just take the little steps to get back on track. Because if you don't have a testimony, as, as it was once said, I believe by President Hinckley, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So stand up. Take action. Be noticed for who you are. You are a child of God. And He has a great work in store for you. And as you strengthen your testimony every single day, you will be able to do the great work that He has for you. So I want to encourage you today to take one single action, 
write down one single thing that would increase your testimony that you haven't been doing. Go ahead and do that. Once again, my name is Joseph Anderson. This is RM University. Thanks for joining us. Have an awesome day.